Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy and I am here with a different video for me. I am doing a, a haul, but it is a, as the title said, a diamond, diamond, diamond painting haul. Mostly supplies. So I recently posted, well maybe not recently, it's been like a month or so, my first diamond painting, which was an unboxing. And I've decided I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dabble my toes in it. Although to be fair, I have a diamond painting I started five plus years ago that hasn't been touched five plus years. <laughs> so I do know I like it. My challenge, as I mentioned in my previous video, is my cats. And my coloring crafting area is set up in our living room, so I can't really keep them from jumping up. And seasoned friends, you know, they jump up all the time to say hey. So diamond painting, a little tricky to have them knock stuff over or get fur stuck to the glue. It's a thing, but I am going to try. And so, of course, in typical Kathy fashion, before we really dive in, we have to like buy all the things. So <laughs> that's what this haul is, is a little bit of show and tell. And I am ignorant when it comes to the correct terms for diamond painting. So those of you that are avid diamond, pa diamond painters, um, just please roll your eyes behind the screen and you don't need to chastise me in the comments. But um, anyway, I already showed these and I will link in the eye in the sky. These are the two unboxings that I um, showed and they are from Paint Gem. I have the cat and a butterfly. And I also do have a link and a coupon code in my description if you want to go place your first purchase with there, you can save some money. But if you're interested, check out the unboxing video. These I think are amazing for anybody else like me that is a beginner and just wants something quick and easy to try out. And I hope to have some of these completed to show at the end of May. So I got those. And then I went on the hunt for the supplies. So everything else came off Amazon and I don't have it opened but I know I've done enough diamond painting with like the free little stylus or pen as they call it I think that I don't like that skinny little one so I found this set and there's so many out there again if anyone wants specific links let me know I think this is acrylic it's not super heavy and it just it feels comfortable and then it also came with I had done a little bit of reading reviews and research so I didn't even know these were a thing multiple placers seriously awesome and people had mentioned that the um, metal ones are better they will last longer and let's open this up because now I am curious so this little thing came all as a kit I like that it's in a case it's got some multiple waxes in here in the foam and then here are the now am I smart enough to know will these work with all of the drills round square obviously not specialty ones but I will find out and we'll see so I'm excited and I also liked that this one had a angle that's still a single but it's an angle which to me seems more ergonomical like writing a writing with a pen or pencil so I got this cute all-in-one kit that is, I like that, like I said, that it's in a case. And then I also got, so I was, my other thing with doing the diamond painting is I've only ever had the one little tray or wait, boat, I believe boat is the correct term. And for me, it's like, well, do you do all of the, the dots for that one color? And then I know I'm going to miss some. Uh, I just I didn't know so I thought I want more boats <laughs> and then there's again multiple options out there so this is another Amazon kit comes with all the stuff let's take a peek what we got here so I liked this because it had multiple spots so like if I'm working on one of those simple kits I had just shown you there very well may only be six colors so I could put all of the diamonds out and um, just work like in a straight line. And they do also come with these little stoppers so that they don't spill out. 
And in theory, then, it should be easy to pour them back into the container for the drills. Speaking of kitties, look who we have. This is like the most adorable little spoon, I'm assuming, to scoop out drills and put them in, and it folds. And then I believe these are, what, like finger thingies? <laughs> Maybe to help keep you from getting a callus? I have fat fingers, so I don't really know. Do you put them on which fingers? I need to do some more watching. I'm going to just keep, you know, pushing through here, even though we have Frankie, because he's chewing on his little chew toy, which is a hairbrush. So I don't really know what these are going to do. So that one I would welcome some comments on. <laughs> Then we have a whole bunch of blue wax this time. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, ten squares of wax. And this, they did come in different colors. I think there was maybe a pink and a white. And it comes with ten little, these aren't going to hold for like a really big diamond painting, but they might hold again for those small kits that I have. So um, they're connected, so there's four connected, so you have a total of eight. And then the last, oh, nope, there's two items in here. So there's this little brush, which I assume is what you can use to help brush when you're putting them back into, or maybe to break them up. Again, I don't know. And this, I do believe, is the straightener tool. So once you have your rows down, you can kind of push in between if you need to straighten anything. But another... Nice little, and these were, you know, inexpensive. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I really don't know how much I'm going to do. But again, I always think before I can start my hobby, I need to have all the tools, which I should know is the wrong way to do things because I always spend more money than I should and buy things that really are not that good. But I was doing and reading reviews trying to be. So the bad thing is this does not come in like a cute little case. So I will have to find... Um, I have a bunch of Ipsy Make Cook bags. <laughs> Hopefully one of those will fit and we can put all of this in one bag. Frankie's saying hello. Really was going to try and get him out of the way, but instead he plopped down right in the middle of everything. So he could, you know, be like, hey, hey friends, what you guys doing? I want to help, meaning I want to chew on things. So, and just be cute. So oh, we're going to roll around and knock stuff over. Because this is what Frankie does. <laughs> He's such a little stinker. So as I have said before, if you have a cute little animal, pet, fur baby, or real baby nearby, now is the time to grab them, snuggle them, give them some loving. It is officially um, stress reduction break on my channel because petting cats and other animals is said to lower your blood pressure. So I think that is maybe for animals that aren't little turkeys like this guy who just tried to bite my hand. But um, he's purring while he's doing it. So yes, take a moment and uh, <laughs> give some love to your precious little pet children. And um, I'll, I'll be back. It, it'll be a, a, a blink of an eye for you and could be an hour for me. Okay, because cats are so stinking adorable, <laughs> as we know, I found this super cute kit. Now, I, I can't remember what, but there was something in here it didn't have, hence the reason I had to buy the other kits. So this, I can't remember again, I, there might have been different colors or a different animal, but I think it's so adorable. It has a double zipper, you know, can zip from both sides, and it's a hard case. And you open it up, and look how cute this is. So it has this, and it's kind of flimsy, but it's cute, it's got daisies on. And then it has a thing of stickers. Um, so I assume you put your number, letter, whatever it is, when you put your drills into these little vials. I don't know how many are here. There's a lot. Again, if you want to link to the um, kit. And they're all set inside this foam so they don't tip over and move. Obviously, I would be needing to make sure all of the lids are on tight. And then the upper part here has a fairly deep, I mean, it's as deep as this is, 
for supplies. So let's see. I think I'm going to immediately just slide <laughs> this kit in here because I'm pretty sure all the tools can fit in um, from the this kit and the next one. So the reason I bought this blue kit is because this did not have, it does have, here I'll show you, I'm going to slide this back up now and we'll dive in here. It's going to be some crinkling. And it sticks to everything. So this did come with an extra tray. But it's still, it's like the one standard boat that's like this size in every kit. And then this larger one. And I knew I still wanted more than just those. So, um, I don't know if it has a stopper. I'm just looking. I guess we'll see when we, um, because this boat does not. Actually, oh, there's two here. Oh, look at that. There's two. So those you just dump in. This one does have the hole for pouring things back in. It also comes with a collapsible funnel. So I guess, see, that just pops like that. So you would, if you're using these large or small ones, you just dump them right in. I think you guys know how funnel works. Okay, now Zoe thinks she wants to jump up here, but I've kind of got her blocked. And this comes with multiple pens. They're all the thin, but they do have the um, extra placers or the multiple placers on there. They're all plastic. And then the opposite side are all the... That was Zoe just knocking over the other supplies I had here. Ay, Zoe. Um, and it also came with a tweezer. Now this seems kind of like a janky, not very... I don't know how, um, doesn't seem strong enough to actually be like reaching a single thing, but what do I know? Um, some empty plastic bags, purple wax, and a straightener as well. So I've got multiples and these kit or should all, we're just going to try and put them all in here, fit. Ugh with my bonus, my blue kit, and now my purple kit. I think everything will fit in here. And I can close it. Okay, now it's a little tight. I might need to do a little rearranging. Oops, forgot the, um, <laughs> the little plastic bag. So, um, and now I think I have, well, two more things to show you. And then, I had to get one more kit because I, again, I need all the supplies. So many of these things are having duplicates where it is. But let me show you this kit. Camera okay, in this box. Whoops. So again, I couldn't find a kit that had everything I wanted. So this kit comes with a roller to iron down, I'm assuming, roll down the, um, the diamonds and then it comes with this is the stand and it has a light board in it so this is the USB cord it does have trays and another bag of supplies I'll go through that in a minute um, I have not set this up yet when I use it I will maybe try and do a quick little video to show you how it is it's um does it come out anywhere? Ugh, the box. Struggle is real today, my friends. So, yes, it's a very thin light board. Um, and, yeah, it's got the plug-in spot. So, I am going to be testing this out this month. And I will, um, I won't post this until I do. So... I can show you how what I think of it. Um, it does come with some very basic instructions. So again, here is the um, frame pieces. There is the plug-in. And then I showed you those. Let's see what they have in their 
toolkit. I do like this bag. And what do we have? So again, nothing had everything, hence the reason I bought so many. And I can't remember if this had a color choice or not, but here it does come with some standard binder clips. I'm assuming to clip your canvas to the light board. Another pretty cheapo um, tweezer. Another set of the pens that have the multi-placers and the singles. More wax. Does anyone actually use all this wax? I'm very curious. Another um, row straightener. And what do we have for trays? Oh, there's like extra bonuses here. So this does have some plastic baggies, some labels, and then a larger boat, a smaller boat, and a square boat that looks like it clips, could clip onto something. I wonder if it could clip onto the frame. I bet that's it. I will definitely try that out. Let's see if I can put them back in here. Oh, they do all nest together. And then, as I said before, it also came with the roller. And then here's what I have to show you, which is special about this kit. Okay. Let's zoom in. So inside the kit was this little note that said, thank you. And when you turn it over, it says, thanks to buyers, contact us for free diamond painting. Um, and then it said to email this email. And this is, if you want to look for the company online, this is the company. So I thought, heck, I will do that. So I sent an email and I got a very quick response and they asked if I would please give a review and that they could either do a custom painting for me or they had this, it was very difficult because I'm going to try and show if I can the picture of the other option was a sunflower. Season friends, I absolutely love sunflowers. So it was, I could have definitely done that, but I'm like, I've never had a custom anything. So I'm going to try and see what this custom diamond painting is going to look like. So there's a picture and I'm going to show you. I'll show you the picture as well. And I sent it in. And again, this was like freaky fast. They like, for international, you'd think it was Jimmy John's. So I got this package in the mail. Um, and I opened it up. Everything was very well wrapped. This is all I have honestly done was open it and I tried to take a quick little peek. So my custom diamond painting comes with, guess what, more tools, but this is actually a metal. This seems, I mean, it's still pretty, you know, it's, it's better than the plastic ones, but it's still, you know, very thin metal. So they have the plastic one in their kit, but then in the custom one, she sent me this one. And then it has a boat and some wax and a pen. And then these are all the drills. So this is the picture that I gave her. And um, so there's a lot of similar. Okay, it's gonna crinkle again. I never know if it's better to unwrap everything or to like give the true unboxing feel experience when we look at things. So the colors are kind of very, very similar. So the picture was taken. Let me see how many colors. It has 20, no, it has more than, yeah, 28. So it has 28 different colors, which was handy because then um, she they, uses numbers one through eight and then A through W. And it lists here all of the the total number of diamonds and how many bags of each. You can see that. So I'm also going to just insert the actual picture to show you. And this picture that I'm showing you is, um, again, season friends, you'll know, it's my mama and her three sisters. So I am blessed with some amazing women in my life. And my mom has passed away. And that picture was taken at the time we knew she had terminal cancer and she wanted to do a trip. 
so she wasn't sick sick yet if that makes sense those of you that know I mean she was still you wouldn't necessarily know um, oh I was just going to show you this as well so because everything's individual it's not like all of the, the colors so if there's like four bags of one color they're all connected but they're not all connected to each other so each you know the bags are kind of individually individualized there <laughs> just um, wanted to show you that because I know my other kids it's like all of them are connected anyway so the picture is we were um, my one aunt lives in Florida and we coordinated it that the four sisters and then I went along I am the oldest niece of that side of the family and my mother's only daughter and I have always had a special bond with my aunts so I was kind of like an honorary <laughs> honorary sister and they needed someone to capture all the moments so I was basically the photographer and primarily I was there to help my mom because as I said she did have stage 4 cancer she had not started chemo yet but was obviously very tired and she's love her dearly but she was very naive when it came to travel and I would just be a little bit afraid of her walking around an airport all by herself so anyway she invited me to go with I went it was one of the best best vacations if you want to call it that I mean the memories we made and it was you know at the time we're like we're gonna come back every year and unfortunately that didn't happen but it was such a special moment for all of us and that picture is one of about a hundred I took as we were on the beach watching sunset and they're all facing out into the sun as you see and yeah it it's kind of become a that picture my mom has a friend who's a very talented um painting painter artist artist well there's so many of us that are artists but she paints um and she took that and made a painting and gifted it to my mom, which is currently hanging in the home of my aunt, whose house we were at in Florida. And I will get that back someday. But anyway, this is my custom diamond painting. It is 40 by 30 as far as centimeters. I don't know the inches for that. And I don't know that I want to pull the whole thing off, but I definitely want to get a look. This is what I have not looked at because I wanted to do it. But I also don't, I mean, I know I think this is where, because I'm not, I should be like cutting small squares and yada yada. Well, I'm going to just place it back. I would really just like to see how this might look and if it's going to be even close. So I think it's going to be close. Look at that. So my mom's the one on the very left. I'm trying to get to her. So this is my mom. Again, now it's all shiny from the glue, but this is my mom. This is my Aunt Mary, who is very much a second mother to me. She's the one that lives in Florida. And these are the other sisters, um, Betty and Donna. And it was getting cool, so we had beach towels there and wrapped around. And yeah, it looks fairly... I like the um, that I can actually see these, but I'm going to try and set this up on my light board which the light board is smaller than the canvas so I'm curious how this is going to work but I'm very excited to see how this comes up because it means so much to me and from here it looks like they did a good job I have no idea how they do that I'm sure it's a computer program that like takes the picture and breaks it down into individual um colors and stuff but and then oh I didn't show you this this is a round foam piece that the um, canvas is was rolled on so yeah I am thrilled so if nothing else I know that this is a diamond painting I will finish because again it is um, so sentimental and I only wish that my mother were here to see it but um, I know she's here. She's watching me. And what a generous gift. I mean, the kit that I bought, that pieces, you know, that box with the kit and the light board, I'm pretty sure, I know it was under $30. I want to say it was closer to the $20 range. And it, you know, I'm really hoping the light board is impressive because that's mostly what I thought would be interesting. 
And um, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm not going to end the video here. I'm going to end it and be inserting some footage of me using all of that and showing you how the, um, the light board works. And once I have this um, custom diamond painting up on the board, try and work on some of that just to give you guys a feel. So again, I will put a link to that set just because I think some of you might be interested, especially, again, a free custom diamond painting. And I'm very excited to put it together because there, if it's as lovely as I expect it to be, I would definitely pay to have other photos created. So, okay, that's it for now. Next up will be the um, continuation of how everything works. So I already put it all together. The stand was fairly easy to put together and it holds it up quite vertically. Or, and I tried the three levels. I did not have the film removed here, so it kind of looks like it's not an even lit. But once I pulled off the film and put on my diamond painting, it um, it does light up the whole, the whole area. Um, word of note, you do need to keep the USB plugged in. It is not rechargeable. Okay, so here I am painting away <laughs> using my new resin, I think I called it acrylic, but I think it's resin um, pen. And I'm using the, well, multi-placer you can see there, which I am like, holy crap. I don't know if these were around five years ago when I first did my diamond painting, but I didn't know about them, but they sure are nice. And um, yeah, I love that. I'm struggling, you know, to get all the dots in the right spot and all that. And then I'm using the curved, angled, whatever you want to call it, single tip, which is really nice for me. I could just like see, I don't know, call it the old lady, bifocals, whatever. It was easier for me to see. And I do have the light pad on the highest setting here. And looking directly on, it is definitely very easy to see what's going on. And yeah, I'm kind of working. I did not do the correct way to like grid out. I just took a scissor and randomly cut <laughs> those two slits to lift the paper up. Again, I do need to watch some more. And I have watched some more videos about, you know, using the grid. If it's a plastic covering and I'm not sure. But I suppose if I had it on the light um, table or pad, whatever you want to call it. Here you can see it a little better, except I cannot see because I'm holding the camera. So I'm like, where's my spot? But there you go. So yeah, that light table, not table, light pad, I think is really amazing. And even though the diamond painting I'm working on is larger than the pad, I just would move it over easily. And I did use the binder clips to hold it on there, but really didn't need it, I don't think. So yeah, I played, I did a couple bags of colors. I didn't like completely, I believe the term is kit out um, this diamond painting, which maybe I will do, but I don't know when I'm going to get to work on it again. So I basically opened one of the little bags of diamonds and just used it up, found all the spots and I worked kind of across the whole bottom. So again, I did not do it the proper way and like fill in my whole little square there. But I'm kind of a rule breaker anyway, and I'm sure there's a reason we that the, you do, do that. But um... Okay, friends, I hope you found that enjoyable. I know this is primarily a coloring channel, and it very much spicy cat colors, but I can also color with whatever I want, whether it's diamond paintings or <laughs> any other watercolor paints, if I want to start painting canvases, easels, whatever. And there are many of us in the coloring, the adult coloring community, that also do diamond paintings. So for now, this is still going to be a primarily adult coloring channel. But if I do occasional diamond painting, I will show it kind of like how I do my, um, I do handmade greeting cards. And every now and then I will just show them with my completed pages if I've made any. So I'm not like breaking out into multiple channels. That's way too stressful for me. 
But I, yeah, now I should have all of the tools that I think I need. The only thing I realized I don't have that I have seen people talk about or use is like a sealer. So I'm curious how important that is and if like just regular Mod Podge would work or if you need the specific diamond painting sealer. And if you're going to frame it behind glass, do you really need it? I need to do some more research on that. Otherwise, I've got um, <laughs> plenty of boats and um, pens and ends and <laughs> um, wax. I got wax for days and little bins. And I have some nice canvases to work on this one and then my two kits. And eventually I could dig out that five-year-old one and keep working on. And I have another one of a monarch butterfly somebody had gifted me that, again, I just haven't done because I don't have a setup. And the only reason I'm going to get to play or I got to play with the kits I just bought or the supplies I just bought was because I just had a crafty vacation where I was out of the house and there were no cats nearby. They were outside cats, barn cats. They weren't in the craft room with me. So... There you go. I'm excited. Um, the little mini kits, I plan to make those into greeting cards and some of my very dear friends out here in the online world and in my in-person world will get to receive them. Willy-nilly, I never have a plan and I'm always late. So thank you for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you that stopped to view this. I would love to hear if you diamond paint, if we have previously only connected ver via um, adult coloring, if you have, if you also diamond paint, um, I know some of you after I posted that unboxing of the paint gem kits, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see that you're into diamond painting too, because it's something they do and they just thought it would be cool to be able to talk about it. So yeah, I'm excited. I really am thinking though what I want is if I do more of the diamond painting, I want the smaller ones and I have seen other people get like a portfolio or almost like a scrapbook with like clear plastic sleeves so they put the finished or even the before it's finished, they just, that's how they organize them because I don't see myself like framing and hanging a bunch. I mean, I enjoy doing them and maybe I could change my mind, but at least to keep them organized. I need to try and look. I do have a couple portfolios I have purchased for adult coloring books, like the larger sized ones, but I don't know what size I would need for the diamond painting. But anyway, I'm just rambling right now. And yes, I hope you are well. Again, thank you in case nobody has told you. You, you, right there, you. Oh, sorry, tap, 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 tap. <laughs> okay, then I just really like moved you around. You matter. You are beautiful. You are a diamond inside and out. You're not a diamond in the rough. Your beauty is already shining so brightly and so clearly. And anyone that can't see it or is trying to dull your sparkle, let them go. It's time to let those toxic people out of your life, flush them out, even if they're related. Trust me, I've had to do that. I have relatives that are no longer part of my family because they only sought to bring me down and destroy me. So don't let that happen to you because you are far too precious and far too beautiful to get, um, get pulled down like that. So celebrate your uniqueness and let your sparkle shine, my friends. I love you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.